received the letter of admission to Mercer, it was、um, long delayed. The reason for that delay was the very strongly negative reaction to the fact that Georgia Southern Baptist flagship university, Lily White, was going to be besmirched with the presence of a black black face, here, you know, running around the campus. Don Baxter, who had agreed to be my roommate. Don was、uh, the tallest guy on the team, and I remember when he would be standing under the basket, open, only to pass the ball to him, and people would avoid him. He was being persecuted for being a nigger lover. We were in our dormitory room. There was a knock on the door, and standing there was this distinguished-looking elderly white gentleman. Who proceeded to introduce himself? I am Reverend Clifton Forrester, he said, and Sam. I've come to let you know that you won't be welcome to worship with us at Tatnall Square Baptist Church. We experienced all that as globetrotters. You know, we went places that we could entertain, but we couldn't stay. We went places that we could make people laugh, but we couldn't eat. We had to get on the bus and go to the next town. I had heard about segregation and、uh, you know, black people and white people living apart, but in the church, in the church, I'm not going to sit here and watch you destroy this church by bringing niggers into the congregation. Now we didn't know about it. There was no media. I didn't know anything about it until Martin Luther King got killed in what '65, '66, whatever it was. We were insulated from 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 the ugly side of prejudice and racism. We didn't experience the things that that they were there. And it, it's it's sad to think, what if it had been you? It's a story about a time when race relations were not great, but it's a story about a basketball team that sort of bridged that racial divide. I mean, I, I can't speak for other teams, but but as an athlete, when I walked on that floor, I didn't care what color that guy's skin was. He, we were competing. We were athletes. This basketball, it was the constant. It brought people together, and that's what brought us together. America has no other problem but that of race relations. You see, the others, if whether it be economic or even political, that can be solved. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. So I'm saying to the churches, get out of the house. That essentially was what Martin Luther King did. He got out of the house, out of his church, and got into the streets. One day. This nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Get on with the times and be a true follower of the, of the man Jesus. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty.